Let's talk about energy and work. Now, many of you are familiar with the term work. And if I were to ask you what is work, you would probably tell me a force times a distance. And that is usually correct, but there are some more subtleties that we need to get into. So let's take a look at those right now. Now in this scenario, if we had a constant force being pulled on this block horizontal, and let's say it's initially at position S1, and it moves to position S2, you would say that the work is equal to the force times the distance that it travels from S1 to S2. So that would be S2 minus S1. And you would be correct. But what happens if the force is not constant? And what happens when the force is not directed directly in line with the axis of movement? These are questions we need to answer. Let's address the condition where the force not being a constant, it may not be a constant, and let's also address where the force may not be directly in line with the axis of movement. So for example, if the force was at an angle such as this, and uh, so it's no longer directly in line with the direction of movement. So let's tackle this scenario. And in our book, we use the letter U for work. Now, why do we use the letter U? Well, W is usually reserved for weight. So we don't want to get those two confused, so we'll use the letter U. And because we use the letter U, we usually also write U from one to two. So this means the work from states one to two. And if the force is not constant, we need to use the integral form or the calculus form of this equation, which is F cosine theta ds. So we're integrating ds along the, the position here, and we integrate that from S1 to S2. So if we have an equation for the force, we can integrate that uh, from S1 to S2 to get the work. Now, what is this cosine theta doing in here? Well, this cosine theta is the angle between the vector of movement. So in this case, we are moving horizontally here, right? Horizontally, our S is, is moving horizontally. So that theta is the angle between where the force is applied and the movement. So that's what we're looking at for the work. All right, so we can integrate this. And if the force is constant, so let me write down if force is constant, we get another equation. We just simplify this equation where we have Fc cosine theta times S2 minus S1, okay? All right, so we don't need to integrate if the force is a constant. And in, for most of your problems, the force will be a constant. So you can use this equation, one to two, if the force is a constant. So what is this, let's go into depth about what this cosine actually means. Well, it's only taking the component of the force that's directed along the axis of movement. 